Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the My Hero Academia Plus Ultra board game. So we'll get straight into it. We'll get the plastic off guys and then we'll uh, show you the box, open it up and uh, get all the contents out to get a closer look. So do let us know down in the comments what you think guys. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. So we've got the plastic off there guys. Then you can see the uh, front image a lot easier now with the uh, main characters. And then we'll uh, check out the back where it um, runs through all the uh, items that are included and shows you a uh, diagram there of uh, what it's going to look like when you're uh, playing the game. So uh, it's basically a dice game for uh, two to four players, guys. Then on the back here it says um, age 14 and up and uh, 30 minute games. So uh, what I'll do, guys, off camera, once we uh, get through all the contents, I'll um, take a read of the instructions and um, then in the outro I'll uh, explain as best as I can the... Um, how it all plays and goes together. So hopefully it'll make a little bit of sense and you can get some understanding of uh, what you're up against before um, you purchase this one. So uh, just a little bit of difficulty trying to get the lid off. It's nice and tight. It's uh, nothing uh, on the inside there, but uh, very nicely detailed on the packaging. Now we have a um, some advertising for the uh, physical cards that they do. Looks like we have our instruction booklet here. So couple of pages there for me to get through to uh, explain the uh, rules. We have a cardboard cutout sheet. So you've got um, one and three, one and three, and then a uh, couple of uh, ice cards there, tokens there. We've got some uh, characters here next as well. We've got our board, which we'll check out shortly. We've got some cards, we've got a spare um, bag there. We've got our um, character stands. So quite large character stands there. Which is pretty cool. We've got our dice up next. Quite large dice. I don't normally get um, dice this size, but you've got uh, six blue dice. Uh, they've got numbers and images on those, and we've got a red one with the uh, same images. So there's seven dices included. We have a nice little tray here, guys. Uh, lift that up, nothing on the underside of that. And here we have, seems to be your character card, which you'll uh, take. Nice thick card as well. So it's quite, quite nice, just one-sided. But uh, just runs through the information regarding your uh, particular character that you want to play as. Okay, and then we have our set of cards here. So we'll um, open these up and uh, take a look at these, see if they tell us anything. We can try and speculate a little bit before we get to the um, get to the outro and I run through it all. But they're probably going to be the action cards, guys. So. You'll uh, probably have these in your in your deck, and or uh, pick these up and perform actions during your uh, play. So they have the logo on the back. So they have an ally ally card, sorry, and then they have a plus ultra. We have an encounter card, an event, lots of event cards there. So they might be the pickup ones, and then we have. Looks like uh, these are villain cards next. So pretty cool. Uh, very nicely detailed on those. Uh, we'll check out the board next, guys. The final part to the unboxing. Okay, not that large, quite small in comparison to uh, other boards. But uh, it's got some nice de Im images there of uh, the uh, uh, few different scenarios. So there we are, guys. That's the uh, My Hero Academia board game board. Nothing on the back, guys, plain and simple. But uh, that's everything included. Um, like I said, guys, I'm going to take a read of the instructions. So stick around for the outro if you uh, want to know how it all plays and goes together. And uh, do let us know in the comments what you think. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. But for now, we're going to conclude this part of the video.
Welcome back guys, so you've got it all set up, got it all together, hopefully it'll make a little bit of sense, but we'll get into it. So basically you want to set it up like so, um, you've got your uh, deck of cards here, you shuffle those, um, and then you've got your uh, plus ultra cards, which we'll get to later on, but uh, they've got to be separate, you use them later at the game. Um, you've got your six dice, which you roll on each, every turn that you do. You've got your uh, red one here, which is identical to the other ones, but uh, you've got to gain an ability during gameplay to uh, actually have the seventh dice there to uh, help you out to uh, try and win the game. Um, you've got your uh, hero point tokens and your damage point tokens. What you want to do is you want to pick a hero, put him in the middle, which is the UA high school. That's the uh, main part of the board there. Then you want to get grab your hero card. That um, has a, uh, a stat on there, and that shows you the stamina as well. So uh, whatever number that is, that's your basically your health, guys. So you don't want to get to zero. Once you get to zero, your turn ends immediately. You'll lose three hero tokens, and you go back to the UA high school, and then you don't get another turn until it comes back around to you. Um, so basically, you've got five sequences per turn, guys. So you've got move to a location, roll the hero dice, spend the hero dice, and then you want to resolve the cards if you can, and then end your turn. So basically, um, what you want to do is move to a location, guys, anywhere on the board. You can stay here. Uh, it's like a safe place, but you can't gain or um, you can't gain an advantage there. Um, and obviously you can't, um, you can't obviously um, gain any damage either, but um, you can kind of, move to the or stay in the UA high school and kind of recover there but you, you definitely can't gain any advantage by being there whereas when you uh, go to a location you can perform the tasks you can um, you can beat the tasks and then you can gain an advantage uh, obviously if you uh, don't beat the task then you uh, you gain damage and uh, that's obviously a disadvantage but on your roll guys you want to roll all six dice and then you want to um, choose which ones to keep you can re-roll another two times but then after that, that's what you're stuck with. Um, so uh, just be careful, guys, which ones you keep and uh, which ones you don't keep. And then uh, moving forward, then you spend the dice, try to uh, try to um, beat the event. Uh, so you can either pass or fail the event, guys. Um, and that determines whether you gain hero points or gain damage points. Um, and then after that, guys, your, your turn ends. Um, if you do end up resolving the card, then you put that with your hero card and then you flip another one over and uh, that one goes onto that area. And then um, basically the turn moves on to the next player. When um, So basically to win guys, what you wanna do is you wanna grab, you wanna have 20 of the hero tokens in your possession, then play stops. Um, and then you go through the plus ultra cards guys. They kinda have like um, tasks that you would perform during play. And if you've actually um, achieved that task, then you grab that card and then that um, normally will gain you hero points. So just be careful guys, because you could be losing and then your opponent could get to 20 before you, but then you grab a couple of these plus cards and then you will um, obviously move ahead of them in the, uh, in the race uh, with the hero tokens and then you'll be the ultimate winner. All right guys, well I hope that, that makes a little bit of sense. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave. Hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike. Once we get to the next milestone, we're doing the next giveaway. So do subscribe, it's running for that. And we'll catch you next time.